Right guys, welcome back to Fog Football here with your Scottish Europa League preview. We've got big games here involving Celtic and Rangers. You can see in the thumbnail there. The Neil big Lenn one, Neil AC Lenn Milan. Neil Lennon there trying to console Scott Brown. Can you believe it? They lost 2-0 to the Rangers. 10 in a row's deed. Uh, you love it, don't you? Big slat in there. He's been playing well, so how many goals will he score past Celtic? That is the big question. Which game do you want to cover first? Celtic, AC Milan or... Rangers versus that Diddy team for France. Belgium. Oh, yeah, who's playing? Uh, stand at the edge. Stand at the edge, aye. Put it this way. It just shows you how shite COVID 19 is. Slatan catches it, returns first game back, wins the Milan Derby. Scoring two goals. What a deadly disease COVID is, fuck me. I know, what, what's going on? But Maybe if we get it, we won't be jobbers. Right, we'll, oh, get, we'll, get, we'll get the more jobber tie it the way. Right, Rangers versus no, Standard. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Um, yes, stand at the edge, Robert. Versus Rangers. I've already talked about it, so I'll let you talk about it. Right, well. Well, not in this vid, but you get me. Right, Rangers, stand at the edge. Uh, obviously, Rangers coming off a. I'm not going to say it was a great. Obviously, great to beat Celtic at Celtic Park, but fuck it, it was a lackluster, dire game. But in terms of getting momentum and in terms of beating Celtic and, you know, cementing Rangers' place at the top is SPL, it was. It was a massive result, it was a great result and um, I'm pretty sure that will carry on here into Europe. I'm sure the Rangers players will be absolutely buzzing and that will help against a Sander Liege team who, I'm going to be honest, I haven't looked at the Belgian table, I couldn't tell you who's where. Standard Liege could they're be third. in the really, well, they're third well. Aye, but the Belgian league's fucking... People would say you're talking shit. I'd say the Scottish league's better than the Belgian league. Yeah, I... Yeah. <laughs> well, who's higher on the coefficient? Must well, see to me, right? Must be near enough Scotland for I, real. I said my fid. If Rangers don't finish second, at least in this group, it's a fucking disaster. It's pish as Hamilton are. Would they be pisher than the shittiest team in the Belgian league? They probably would, do you, wouldn't they? Well, see, in terms of like what the players are probably worth, they would probably be nowhere near them. But in reality, would they be? I don't know. I mean, Hamilton put ten men behind the ball. Most teams are going to struggle. Uh, like, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, right, I don't know why I talk about Hamilton here, fucking... Are Rangers going to win or not? Yeah, 2-0 Away from home. I'm going to say aye. I think... I think Stevie G's doing something at Rangers, I don't know exactly what, but... <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, Rangers have kind of... were a laughing stock, let's be real, until Stevie G, I mean... But how do you how do you get beat by progress, The I know, it doesn't make any sense, I mean... <sighs> Before Stevie G, you, you, even a team like Stand Up Ledge, you, you, they gave Rangers no hope. It's, 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 as mad as that sounds, like, see now, see like uh, Malmo and Malmo. Oh, no, but, I mean, I, I'd, I'd expect Rangers to fucking win the bother. I see if. Uh, I mean, the Rangers are, are, are no, used but, to beating the likes of Galatasaray. Say, say, say Gerard. Falkel, oh, no, no problem. Right, we get it, dickhead. Fuck Falkel. <laughs> but say Gerard won nothing this season and he just left. Fucking greatest Rangers manager in the last like, uh, the guys two decades. Made, the guys <laughs> made them from hee haw to aye from he. Aye, so I'm I'm gonna go Rangers. I'm gonna go two one. I'm going two 0 I'm going two one. Uh, who's gonna get the goals? Well, it's not against Celtic, so I'll say a Morelos double. He likes the Europa League, so yeah, I went with Morelos and the Haji. I went with. Anyway, though, to the big one. Celtic Park, the big game, they've won a lot of trophies, AC Milan. Well, saying that, I mean, Rangers have probably won the same amount of trophies since AC Milan uh, went to shit. Is it Parkhead, yep. Yep. I actually, I think Celtic will get a result. I think they need, I think, I think, I think Lennon's job's on the line here. And what I will say is, even last season, Celtic, I think, looked... At this stage in the the uh, like, like the season, they didn't look that strong in the league. Yet they still turned it on in Europe. And this season they've looked up. Although what about, but you say that it's not. I mean, looked, I, I look at Celtic qualification campaign. They've, they've looked awful. Well, put it so, this way: my logic is they're playing absolute pish. Milan are probably playing the best they've played in about fucking almost a decade. Yeah, this this game just comes at, up front. This game just comes at the wrong time for Celtic. I think I know you can say this, but most games were we could go both ways. But I think. AC Milan could win about 5-0 and I wouldn't be surprised but if Celtic got like a 2-1 win I wouldn't be surprised I'm sorry, th this game a year ago I think Celtic are favourites yep but this game in 2020 brother ho 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 brother I'm going with 
I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. I've just got a sneaky feeling Celtic will get something. 3-1 AC Milan, Slatan hat trick. He's going to he's gonna get in the face of Scott Brown. Brown's going to stick a head through him after he scored the hat trick, though. That's ah, alright, so you're going hat trick for AC, hat trick for Slatan and red card for Just Scott don't Brown. job out the coefficients. Nah, I don't job out the coefficients and. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, anything else? But, this, but at the same time, but see, at the same, I want Lennon to stay in charge. So I see. I mean, get. I don't want him technically getting ham- humped. I don't know because, like, what? I mean, who do they get rid of Lennon? Who do you think they'll bring in if they get rid of him? Another Brendan Rodgers. Oh, another Brendan Rodgers. That's easy to fucking say. Like, but who are they going to bring in? I don't know. Mar- is Martin O'Neill looking for one last run? I think he'd take it, but you know what? What about Roy Keane? see him going in the United like I don't know, really I, don't know. I, I think it'd be great Roy Keane Celtic manager we we, we uh Gerard is the, the Rangers manager yeah of course but Gary you can't be doing that Gary you know <laughs> see as a character see Gerard's got like the kind of kind of tough man thing but with tactics whereas I don't know if Roy Keane's got that it's Roy just Keane's fucking like go out and send him a message yeah and I I, I just don't think that works in, in 2020 I think, in a, I think as a manager, like 20 years ago, just you, you being a hard ass and threatening to kill everyone if they didn't win. As good as it gets in enough. that department is Diego Simeone, but then it's not like his team are kicking lumps at you. It's more like Diego Costa just being a bit rough up front. Yeah, so um, I don't know. Anyway, we're, 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 we're talking here as if Lennon's job's gone. He's sacked. Probably, you know, they could come out and tank AC Milan and it'll be 10 in a row on the go and Neil Lennon's the greatest thing since Big Jock. You know what I mean? But did Neil Lennon know? Did Neil Lennon know Rangers were going to pump them in that Glasgow derby? Probably not. <laughs> With his tactics, I think he fucking did. But uh, anyway. Uh, I was so bad, I still can't go over it. Like, worst, worst old firm game I've ever seen. By far. Celtic had absolutely nothing. 2-0. You, you'd think, right, at what, at what stage did they go for it? But fuck, they never. It was a feeble. I know, you can, have, I know you can have an off game, but it's the old firm. It's supposed to be... I mean, they're all, it's our biggest of our season. I mean, it's not translating onto the pitch. I know, but you can play shape. But surely, even if, even if you're shape, two minutes to go, you're right, right, come on, let's do something. You can play awful, but there's a bit of intensity. Um, there was nothing from Brian. There was nothing. Didn't seem like the best term player team. was the transgender guy at left back, who will be ineligible for this game because he's on loan from AC Milan. And on that note... That's it, guys. Make sure you tune in for the uh, review... When it will happen, who's going to win? Let us know your comments down below. Let us know your predictions. Can we get two wins for Team Scotland? Or will uh, Celtic job them out? Or who knows, maybe Celtic will win and Rangers will get beat. You I'd never know. Scottish football, anything can happen. We're going anything to the Euros. Neither of these teams are probably going to go to the final of this competition, but you never know. Anyway, Steve Clark's got... Yeah, Steve Clark could be the new Celtic manager. Okay, what, my, hey, that's a good shout, actually. My, for the job at Scotland? <laughs> He's a Celtic fan. I will. He's a Scotland fan as well, but until then. He could do both. He could do both, but until then. Once he puts Scotland Aye, he could. Aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. Until then. Peace. Peace.